with her tension. This is just me telling you that you guys don't have to be scared to be who you are. You can be who you want to be and don't worry about the hatred. They are going to say, I was wrong. Because there's this girl in college said it's wrong. And I showed her a picture of my sister after she saw it. And I said, my sister's a lesbian. And she said, why are you trying to lesbian? But I'm like, that's my sister. She's like, oh, she's stunning in her face. When I said that I am bisexual, she backed away from me. I mean, it upsets me how people think when you 2016, and people are homophobic, they're racist, they're, it's just disgusting. The amount of people that think they're in the right mind to say their opinions when their opinions are not needed. So if you've got, if you've got anything bad, if you've got any bad opinions, about me, keep it to yourself because I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear all your shitty comments to make my depression worse. To make me want to kill myself even more. Because I'm already suicidal, I'm already depressed. And I don't want your shitty ass comments in my video, on in the comments below. I do not want it. Do not want it on my channel or anywhere else. So if you think I need help, if you think I can be cured, keep it to yourself. Because being gay, being a lesbian, being bisexual is not a choice. That's who, that's who they are inside. Who I am. And nobody makes mistakes. Keep, yeah, sure, people make mistakes. But... I was put on this earth for a reason. Everybody was put here for a reason. Maybe you were really thinking it's great and you might not know it. Everyone's here for a reason, okay? You... You have shitty comments that, that you think are right. Look up the facts. You are homophobic. And I don't care if you're a Christian family and you think it's wrong. You're brainwashed. That's what the fuck you are. You're fucking brainwashed. You're a fucking delusional twat. You're deluded. That's what you fucking are. Don't fucking come. Don't fucking go in my comments saying, Oh, it's wrong. Blah, 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 blah. You can be cured. You can do this. You fucking go kill yourself. If you say that, I just might fucking go kill myself. I just might. You know what I've noticed? As soon as someone kills themselves, they're struggling, people start listening. So before you tell someone to kill themselves, think about it. Because they just might go ahead and do it. You don't know. That could be your fault. So if you comment on my phone, on my fucking video, go kill yourself. Just remember, if I do it, it's on your, it'll be in your favour. It'll be your fault. So don't even try it. I'm not someone you want to mess with. Don't mess with me. I'm not in the mood and I couldn't give a shit about you and your shitty ass life. Because you don't see me to, you don't see me telling someone to go kill themselves here because I know it's wrong. I've been told to kill myself so many times and I've actually yes, and I've attempted it. But it hasn't worked. So for all you know, if I go kill myself and you tell me to go kill myself, I just might and it might just work. Because <clears throat> I've been told to drink bleach, I've been told to slit my wrist, I've been told to slit my throat, I've been told to jump off a bridge, I've been told to hang myself. I might, I might just drink bleach, I might just slit my wrist up that way to get, to get my fucking results. Hmm? Then let's see who, let, then let's see who has the last laugh. Then let's see who has the last word. Will it all be funny then? No, it won't. So before you write your shitty ass comments, comments saying, oh it's wrong, go kill yourself, do this, that and the other. 
don't even fucking start. Because I would just respond back with fire. I would just respond back. And I know you can't fight fire with fire, and neither can you. Because if you fucking dare come and shit on my fucking YouTube channel, like, oh, you did do that, you fucking ever God, could you, you know, I'm going to fucking say to you, go fuck yourself. And if you say you go to house, you know what I'm going to say to you? I'm already halfway there, I'll meet you there. Because I'm already halfway there, and I'll fucking meet you there. You can not bother me. I'm already halfway to hell. So you're going to say that to me, I'll meet you there. God doesn't make mistakes. What the fuck I'm saying? God ain't even real. I don't believe in that shit. God's not real. I know that. I'm not a fucking Christian. I'm an atheist. And apart from the fact that I, that I believe in Satan, but that's it. Because I'm halfway to hell and I will see you there. And when you get there, I'm going to be fucking slapping. God, if I could find all the homophobic people, I would love to fucking slap them. Knock some fucking sense into their fucking head. Because you are brainwashed. There's nothing wrong with being gay. There's nothing wrong with being a lesbian. There's nothing wrong with being bi. There's nothing wrong with being trans. There's nothing wrong with being pansexual. There's nothing wrong with being asexual. There's nothing wrong with being... There's nothing wrong with being, being LGBT or anything like that. I support gay pride. My sister's a lesbian and I support her because she's loving and she's caring but you do not want to mess with her because she will kick the shit out of you. They will move the shit out of you. Now, my sister's baby, no, my sister's own baby was born three months premature. She said anything about my family, they talk about me fine. They talk about my family and you're dead. You're fucking dead. I am a big girl sometimes to the people that I love. The people that are shitty and comment shitty things on my YouTube videos. Do I really think I'm just going to sit back and like, oh, maybe he's right? Or maybe, oh, maybe she's right? Do I really want to sit back and just say that? No, I'm going to fucking come back and I'm going to fucking say something back. I'm going to fucking start stuff. I'm not telling you when I want to mess with because I can say shit that you never thought of to mention. Because if you say, oh, it's wrong, fucking, you're a mistake. You're the fucking mistake. You're a fucking joke. You're a fucking joke to this fucking planet. To the whole earth, you're a fucking joke. Nobody fucking cares what you have to say. Nobody gives shit, so keep your shitty opinions to your fucking shitty ass, shitty mouth. Keep them to yourself, nobody fucking cares. If you have shit to fucking say, DM me on my fucking Instagram. Or fucking DM me on Facebook. Or fucking DM me on Twitter or fucking Snapchat. Just don't fucking do it on my fucking videos. Like this one guy said, I'm the cancer of YouTube. Does it look like I care? He said, stop. Does it look like I'm gonna fucking stop making videos? For anyone. If I want to make videos, I'll make videos. This is my video, my channel, I'll do what the fuck I want to say. Don't try and tell me what to do. Do you really think I'm going to listen to you, to the fucking people that tell me to stop and tell me to fucking do this, that and the other? No. If you tell me to kill myself, I just might, you know, I just might. Then let's see how guilty you feel. So before you open your fucking fat trap, think about what you're going to say. Because I have no time for your shit or anyone's shit for a matter of fact. I've been through enough. I've had worse and I've heard worse. So take the best shot. So I can't be full of that because I just might. Then let's see who got the last word. Do 
want to know what? Those type of people are going to end up behind the bars. You want to know what? I can't fucking wait to see them behind the bars. For something stupid like harassment, stalking, murder. So, oh, let, let me just start something up so I can tell you this. Okay, Google. Is telling someone to kill themselves murder? Now, let, let me just um, search this up. This is from... I'd like to find out, shall we? This is from the site called Right. Right. If, you, if his talk of suicide was just the cry for help, that Michael Cash gave her boyfriend, Con Roy, Con, Con, Conrad Roy, so, right, let, let me just say, alright, uh, right, on July, July 13th, 2014, Roy's body was found in his truck behind Kmart in Fair, Fairhaven, Massachusetts. The windows were rolled up and had, he had been running I can't fucking read that. The fucking adverts popped up. I oh, know for a fact that you go to jail for telling someone to kill themselves. That's basically murder. Suicide. Uh, is it illegal to tell someone to go kill themselves? Let's find out, shall we? Is it illegal? I oh, know it is. Victims are seven to nine 
attempt more likely to consider suicide according to the study of Yale University. Studies in Britain have found half of the suicides among youth related to bullying. According to a study by ABC News, over 30,000 children stay home every day due to the fear of being bullied. Bullying can be related to physical, emotional, cyberbullying and <clears throat> sexing, circulating news and suggestive both pictures of a person or message. A young male from Ireland named Joshua Unsworth hanged himself, hung himself, after frequent cyberbullying on a social network that he belonged to. He was teased, he was teased about his, his father being a farmer and peers made fun of him, fun of his dating habit. This constant bar barrage of bullying led to depression and suicide. The Urban Institute studying of bullying showed 17% of students reported being victims of cyberbullying, 41% victims of physical bullying, and 51% experienced different kinds. According to the study by We Thank Lashman like that, and Yaina 2014, the types of bullying vary according to vary according to gender. About 50% of girls experience physical physical physiological physiological bullying and 45% male physical bullying. <coughs> the Centre for Disease Control reported reported the students that experience that experience bullying are twice as likely to have negative effects. These effects are depression, sleep difficulties, anxiety and trouble adjusting adjusting to school. They are twice as likely to get stomach aches and headaches. The National Centre of Education Statistics report that in 2014 one of three students reported being bullied during the school year. In the National Crime Victimisation Survey of 2014, about 64.5% reported incidents that occurred twice in, in the year. About 18.5% reported incidents reported incidents reported bullying twice a month, and 7.8% reported being bullying incidents occurred daily. Many students reported bullying that involved being made fun of and called names. Other methods of bullying were having rumours spread about them, treating the person with bodily harm, being pushed and shoved and spat on. Other students had their belongings stolen and or destroyed and were excluded and were excluded from the group on purpose. Bullying often Produces depression, lowest lowest self esteem, <coughs> and produces a, men, a mentality of helplessness and victims. And this information is from the study of <coughs> from the study by Anderson, 2014. More bullying suicide, more bullying suicide statistics. According to the Suicide Awareness, voices for education suicides among 15 to 24 year olds is the third leading cause of death for youth. One of 65,000 children aged 10 to 14 commit suicide every year. Over 16 of, over 16 percent of students seriously consider suicide. 13 percent create a plan and 8 percent have made a serious attempt. I have actually made six serious attempts. <coughs> right. The National Alliance on mental health, 2014 reported suicide was one of the most common psychiatric emergencies. It claims about 30,000 lives every year. The biggest risk factor is a prior history of suicidal behaviour. About 35.7% of elementary school schools 
school are required by the school district to teach suicide pre preventa prevent preventation. 61.5% are middle schools and 75.0% are high schools. Well, about 78.4% of school districts required schools to have a plan for students at risk of suicide. About 80% of youth, youth that commit suicide, commit suicide have depressive symptoms. Peer victimisation and bullying causes higher rates of suicide among youth, according to the JAMA head, head Archive, who has an abortion. Cyber bullying leads to thoughts of suicide. More than traditional bullying, many students are bullied and engaged in bully, bullying behaviour. <coughs> so, um, as you can tell, most people consider suicide because of people that bully. Now, I've just read all that to you. Some of you may not listen. But it's true. You do not know what people have went through. How about you put that how about you put yourself in their shoes? Hmm? How would you like to be bullied? Uh, <coughs> how would you like to get made fun of for the way you look or for the people that you date? How would you like to be told to kill yourself? You wouldn't, would ya? So why do you do it? Now it's the same for people that are, out, that are, you know, LGBT, transsexual, bi, um, bi curious, and all that. Lot. What do, what in your right mind gives you the right to say that to someone? It doesn't. It's not right. So learn and don't fucking say it. Because you're going to say that to the wrong person. They're going to fucking turn around and clock you one. Or let me say it in your language. They turn round and hit you, you on floor. So they turn round, you hit, you get hit, you on floor, right? You, you know, get back up. So I'm, I'm, I'm only speaking like this for the idiot that don't fucking understand. So, so I'm gonna say it slowly. So idiots like you understand, okay? They turn round, you, you, you say kill yourself to them. They turn round and hit you, you on floor, you know get back up. You, you, you in coma, that's your fault. You understand now? Do I have to speak to you like a baby so you understand? Hmm? When people make the fun of me, the Lord, don't fucking start me. I'll come out with five. That's who I am, and you can't change that. That's who I am. You change me. You attempt, or you even try to speak to me about changing myself. I'm not gonna fucking listen, okay? So don't fucking start on me. Don't fucking even think about it. I'm not in the mood for your fucking bullshit, okay? Hmm? Good. Don't fucking dare comment on my video. I'm not in the mood. You can call me what you want. Just don't fucking tell me to kill myself. You can comment on my sexuality. But you are brainwashed. You're fucking delusional. You're fucking delusional. Because if you say, you go into hell, I'm just going to respond off my foot. I'll see you halfway there. Because you're no better, you're fucking self. You're not better yourself, are you? Nobody's perfect. And if you think you're perfect, then you're fucking delusional. You're fucking delusional. Nobody's perfect. Because, you know, you, 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 nobody's perfect. You're just not perfect. I'm not perfect. I have imperfections. I have flaws. <coughs> I've made mistakes. So I've got all these girls and boys out there that think they're perfect. I'm going to get the perfect. Bitch, please, please, just don't get a fucking life. You ain't fucking perfect, you're fucking... You're not just, you're fucking 
obviously not perfect. You're fucking stuck in your own fucking fantasy world, mate. I mean, there's girls out there that say, okay, I'm a guy that's just perfect. If I fucking see you off my phone, I would fucking slap you. You're there with your fucking high heels, your fucking stiletto, like with your fucking nails going, your fucking stiletto, your makeup all done. Let me tell you, you look like a fucking clown like that. You know what I would do? I would fucking clap you on. I would fucking slap ya. And say, get a fucking noise. And stop thinking you're so fucking perfect. And stop thinking the whole world revolves around you. Because it fucking doesn't. If there's, what, 7 billion people in this world? There's 7 billion people in this world.
you're not allowed to take this off. You have to be right up. And you have to sit up straight. Right there. And you have to lift up. You wouldn't be allowed to take this off in the same thing. So if you take it off, you'd have to get the off and stay back on. This is what this is what I'd have to wear in the summer in assembly. I'm not allowed to take this off. Fucking left it in my fucking pool, yeah. You'll be allowed to wear no fake nails. You'll be allowed to wear hair extension, my movie. You'll be allowed to take off your makeup. Simple as that. You break the rules on the school, you get kicked out. You get put in isolation, you get kicked out. You get up all the cars, you get detention. <coughs> or you can never come back to the school. So you get expelled. So, before you start, think about what you're going to say, yeah? Don't fucking come up in my videos, just because I'm coming out as bisexual. So, bye to all the fucking idiots that think of all that. And bye to my lovely subscribers that actually support me.